Bravo. Good set. Hello again. If I can have your attention. So it is uh, time to start our, actually our, our award ceremony. And as you've seen on the slide, we have a couple of awards to be uh, delivered uh, tonight. And we'll start with the uh, DOC Award, uh, which is actually for the most successful paper uh, published in the Journal of Sound and Vibration. And I will invite uh, Dr. Andre uh, Metrikin, Editor-in-Chief of uh, Journal of Sound and Vibration, to join me on stage and uh, give, us, uh, give this award to our awardee. Thank you in helping me joining him. Thank you, Jeremy. Welcome, Professor. I wonder why uh, I am on this slide called Mr. He calls me Doctor. <laughs> but, well, to be honest, I am Professor as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, just uh, one question before I start giving my speech. How many of you published in the Journal of Sound and Vibration? May I ask you to raise hands? Yeah, more, there should be more, right? No? <laughs> okay, but quite a few. So it's, uh, we are in good place here. So the DOAC Award. Uh, I don't know if you know about this, but it's not the first time that it is given at this conference. It was established not too long ago, in 2011, by Elsevier, and we are very thankful to it, in order to highlight the most successful paper in the Journal of Sound and Vibration. And it's done each year. The award is made in the name of Professor Phil Doak, the first editor-in-chief of the Journal of Sound and Vibration, who was, by all possible standards, an exceptional editor. I think Many of you did know him, right? Uh, so he was really a great person. The Doc Award is given for the paper which is on either of the two lists. One is the list of 50 best downloaded papers or on the list of 50 best cited papers. Uh, all papers published in the Journal of Sound and Vibration across the past five years are eligible from, for, for the award. So the choice is made by a committee that consists of three people, myself and two uh, deputy editors-in-chief, and one uh, responsible for that is Professor Li Cheng, who is there as well. Um, so when choosing the winner, we are looking for papers uh, whose results are really new or unusual in some way, and uh, which at the same time address a societally important subject matter and are very likely to generate a follow-up research. And this year, a univocal decision has been made to give the DOC award to the paper called Investigation of Guided Wave Propagation and Attenuation in Pipe Buried in Sand. And this paper has been written by uh, Dr. Eli Leinov, who is here, uh, Michael Lowe, and Peter Cawley from the Imperial College. And the paper was published in JSV in 2015. The committee is really and was and is very impressed by the way the paper is written, by the importance of the considered problem for the society, and by the very interesting and somewhat intriguing results associated with the use of the torsional wave. And I think Ellie is already ready to stand up. So it is my pleasure to invite the first author of the paper, Dr. Eli Lenov, to the stage. Please join me in welcoming him. All right, uh, I have a certificate. It's actually a fake one because, uh, because uh, the, the real one didn't manage to come from London. Uh, for some reason, our publisher, uh, who, who should have brought it, uh, got stuck in Heathrow. But anyway, I, I printed a, a, a copy. I printed a copy. Uh, it doesn't make it worse, right? Uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, you're returning to England anyway, so maybe you catch him there. Uh, before handing out the certificate, I would like to say a few words about Ellis' past in research and engineering, as well as about that of his co-authors. 
Uh, it will give me one minute only. Jeremy is okay? Bec you are not angry yet? No? Okay. Uh, that's good. Um, so Eli received his BSc, MSc, and PhD degrees at one place. That's called Ben-Gurion University in Israel. Therefore, he accepted a postdoctoral position with the NDE group at the Imperial College, and it is during his stay there he co-authored the winning paper. Currently, he is senior development engineer and manager of training at Guided Ultrasonics in London. His interests, interest, I, I, I actually, when I look at his page, and the number of interests here were, well, uh, big. Um, so, but uh, I managed to, wrote, to write the following. His interests range from investigation and use of guiding wave propagation in pipes to the consequences of water injection into hydrocarbon reservoirs. I think you can put anything in, in, in between this, right? So that's what Ellie does. Um, and his co-authors are well-known academics, of course. Uh, many of you know them. It's uh, Michael Lowe professor in mechanical engineering at the Imperial College London. His research is in non-destructive testing with particular interest in structure guided ultrasonic wave theory and analytical and numerical modeling. He is a fellow of the Royal Academy of Engineering since 2014 and is a director of guided ultrasonics. A spin-out company where Ellie also works probably, right? And uh, Peter Corley is head of the Department of Mechanical Engineering at the Imperial College London, and he leads the non-destructive evaluation group and is also principal investigator of the UK Research Centre for NDE. And he is a fellow of the Royal Academy of Engineering since 2006 and of the Royal Society since 2010. He is also a director of the Guided Ultrasonics. And there, to, to uh, round off, I would like to say, and I think it is very important, I'm sure that the research presented in this paper that brought the dog, to, dog award to Ellie, Michael, and Peter is currently being used in practice and indeed for the benefit of our society. And with that, I would like to finish my speech, give the certificate to Ellie, and invite you to con con congratulate him with this achievement. <laughs> I hope there will be a picture, right? <laughs> Thank you for your kindness. And, and may I say that I'm, I'm very thankful to the organizers of this conference, and it is extremely pleasant to see that you think of the environment. Thank you very much for Thank that. You. Thank you, Andre. Congratulations. <coughs> Congratulations to Ellie. Um, so our next uh, award is actually a special award that is not typically uh, given, uh, but I will let uh, maybe doctor, I guess, uh, Kanan Krishnan from uh, the IRSST, the Quebec Health and Safety Research Institute, introduce uh, the IRSST Best Student Paper Award. Good evening, everyone. Uh, it's my pleasure to announce the winners of the Best Student Paper Award, <coughs> given in recognition of the best papers related to noise and vibration in the field of occupational health and safety, unpublished within the proceedings of the International Institute for Acoustics and Vibration. So let me call upon the winners now. Simon Benacchio, a postdoctoral fellow at the Ecole de Technologie Supérieure, in recognition of his paper, An Artificial Ear to Assess Objective Indicators Related to the Acoustical Comfort Dimension of Earplugs, Comparison with the Attenuation and Occlusion Effect Measured on Subject. Simon, congratulations.
got <coughs> Fabien Bonnet, a recent PhD from École de Technologie Supérieure, in recognition of the excellence of his paper entitled An In-Ear Noise Dosimetry Method That Excludes the Sounds Generated by Individuals Wearing Earplugs, Preliminary Field Study. Fabien, felicitations. Then Yu Luan, a doctoral student at the École de Technologie Supérieure, for his paper, a coupled finite element transfer matrix method to simulate the insertion loss of earplugs in an acoustic test fixture. Mr. Luan. Then the fourth one <coughs> we got is uh, Laurence Martin, a postdoctoral fellow at the École de Technologie Supérieure, to underscore the excellence of her paper uh, entitled Earplug Personal Attenuation Rating in Noise Exposed Workers, Evolution Over a Five-Week Follow-Up. Uh, Laurence or Madame Martin. Um, IRSST is delighted to be associated with the I ICASV and uh, is pleased to encourage the next generation of uh, researchers. And uh, I thank you for your attention and enjoy the rest of the evening. Bon soirée. Serrez-vous un petit peu. So our fourth um, award will be now <coughs> given by our president, the president of the IIV. So I invite uh, you to join us, Eleonora. Thank you. Thank you. OK, this evening I'm representing the, the <laughs> Honors and Award Committee chaired by Len Gelman, who is not here this year with us, uh, for the assignment of the IIB Sir James Lighthill Best Student Paper Awards. This year, we had uh, about 155 papers submitted for this uh, award, and uh, the committee nominated uh, a panel of members we was in, uh, that was in charge to evaluate uh, this huge amount uh, of papers. So I would like to invite here all the members of the panel who are here this evening. So the panel was uh, uh, included uh, Mich Mich Michel Rosmolen, 
who is not here, obviously. I start with the, the, the person who is not here. Bert Rosen, not here. Maria Eckel, oh yes. Finally, the lady. Jim Koch, uh, also Rosen. Uh, Jim Koch is here, Jim Koch. Ricardo Musafir, yes. Li Cheng, yes. <laughs> Mohamed Pauroballi, no. And other two the, uh, who are not here because I know, Serge Dos Santos and Colin Hansen. So first of all, thank you to you and your colleagues for the huge work you did for, for the award. So. <laughs> and now I... I'm pleased to announce the winner of this award, edition 2019. The third classified for uh, this award is Angelis Carlos, with uh, the paper Reflection from a Non-Uniform Acoustic Waveguide with fitted rigid rings using a transfer function method. So, Angelis, please. I forgot uh, to say that uh, each uh, student uh, received a certificate, obviously, but uh, also a, a prize uh, um, that is, um, has been sponsored by a company. We have three winners, so three companies uh, sponsored uh, the prize, $200. And the uh, companies uh, uh, who sponsored the, the edition of 2019 prizes uh, are Soundplan, Norsonic, and Blastblock. So thank you to the sponsors. <laughs> then we have uh, two winner ex equo. Uh, the Joseph uh, Milton with the paper Active Structural Acoustic Control of a Flat Plate using an experimentally identified radiation resistance matrix. So, Joseph, please. <laughs> He really, really won also last year, so he's uh, <laughs> a very new. Yeah. And uh, another winner, ex equo, Vasily Gri uh, Griazev, uh, with uh, the paper on the importance of temperature effect in an heated high speed jet flow for far field sound propagation, who unfortunately cannot be here this evening because uh, 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 was not able to, to get the visa. So for the moment, uh, we, we can applaud uh, only one of the winners. Okay, that's uh, all, so we will uh, see again next year for the edition 20, 2020 of this prize. Thank you to everybody. Now it's our pleasure to uh, present two travel awards to uh, Vadim Cruz and Sergi Kabansi, both from uh, Kiev, Poland, and I'd ask them to come up to the uh, dais to receive.
The uh, travel awards were made by anonymous donor, and I understand next year we will have a third donor to provide a travel award. So any member who would like to provide travel award for deserving postdoctoral or doctoral students, please let us know. Thank you. So first, to Vadim. Okay, sorry for this. Uh, I would like to say a few words, and actually I would like to appreciate uh, for the invitation at this huge event, the International Institute of Acoustic and Vibration. Uh, firstly, and actually the president of the, this institute, and Professor Malcolm Crocker, who from the several years supports the young scientists from Ukraine, to take part in this event, to develop uh, our international, uh, to be the part of international scientific community, to develop and um, uh, to develop our international cooperation with colleagues from our, uh, our all around the world. Uh, and I would like to wish for all participants to, uh, to I would like to wish their, to organize our committee, uh, the great health uh, the new uh, great motivation and inspiration for future events. Thank you for the app for phone. This is the new level. <laughs> Thank you very much. And for all participants, I would like to wish uh, the new scientific achievements and um, mm, the new great discoveries uh, to make our uh, the world around us uh, less acoustically pollution and without unwanted vibration. Thank you very much. So I'm sorry I had to cut that a little bit because actually the food is waiting for us and I had a several warning. It's warm and we want to keep that warm. So thank you very much. Congratulations to all the winners up to now and uh, bon appétit. And the bon appétit means that we'll have a